See, there's says, a huge uh, difference between free trade and cultural exchange, artistic exchange. That brings people together. So Gene Roddenberry, the creator of Star Trek, had it right. It says, prime directive, non-interference. Yes. There Inch we go. Interesting. Yes. Do you have a, a theory of physics that maybe transcends gravity? Do you think gravity is maybe a, a couched within electromagnetism or? This gets complicated and this brings us into the, some of the where I'm at now with my studies. Yeah. As I'm trying to wrap my head around plasma physics. Part of our own energy future, as well as possibly our remote energy past. Well, people have always wondered about gravity. And then when you get to super subscale, quantum, you, you can't really reconcile that with gravity. Right. And then you possibly get some time spookiness around subatomic scales as well. That you know that would yeah. be certain interpretations. Obviously, gravity is much much weaker than the electromagnetic force as well. I don't really have thoughts on that so much. Do you think the the uh, magnetic field of the Earth is weakening, which then allows for all <laughs> sorts of solar storm events and I think scary it, X risk. I, I think you radiation. Know, I think it's more volatile and dynamic than it has been assumed. I don't, you know, what does it take to cause a magnetic field reversal? I think the last magnetic field reversal was about 700,000 years ago. Yeah. But there's also magnetic, geomagnetic excursions yeah. that are referred to. What causes that? I don't know. I would certainly think, though, that what the events of the Younger Dryas, if anything, would be capable of causing fluctuations within the geomagnetic field. Those events could be.